Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Planner. In this module, I want to show you how you can access the Planner app, how you can use Planner in Teams, and how you can use Planner in a channel in Teams. So first of all, I'm on the home screen for Office 365 or Microsoft 365, it's now called. If I click on this icon in the top left hand corner, it expands all the apps. Now, I have Planner there already because I've used it before. You might have to go to all apps to get into Planner. But I'm just going to click on Planner and then it should open Planner. And I've cleared this off so there's no plans at the minute. So basically, I'm going to click on New Plan. And then it gives you these template options. So this sort of starts you off with some options that you can use already pre-populated with what are called buckets you can see these little boxes here they're, they're called buckets and you can create those yourself but what i'm going to do is just create a blank plan i'll call it marketing marketing plan um, now you've got options to add to an existing group if you've got any i've got one there i'm not going to add it to that and then you've got this option where it's private i'll put it to public so everybody's got access to that. And then I'm just going to click on create. Nothing too spectacular about that. So then when you click create, you get this sort of list. Add new bucket. So you've got add a task and add bucket. And then across the top, you've got different layout options, which I'll show you as soon as I've got some information on the screen. So if I click on this first one, I'll, put, I'll call that design. And then click away from that and then call that um, coordinate or coord, coord, coord the plan. And then I'll call that review. You can have as many buckets as you want, but you keep it fairly simple. So first of all, you've got add tasks. This is under to do. So you could have a big list of tasks there or you can just put them under here. So I'm going to go there first, enter a task, design cover or call this. You've got options there to set a due date. So if I click on that, it gives you the calendar and I'll just pick a random date. And then you've got options to assign people. So I'll assign myself and I'll assign um, Alana as well. So she can be assigned to that. Assign and add. So there's two people assigned to this. And then you click, click add task. And then that task is sitting under the design bucket. Now, if you click on it, you then come into more details so you've got a whole array of things there so for example you've got an area to put some notes um, so you could just put font colors branding whatever you want to put in there and then you can have it showing on the actual task there if i tick this i'll just tick that it will show it on there now where it says checklist add items you can put sub little lists in there so i'll, I'll put uh, something in there Paper type, ink type, and whatever you want to put there, you can just put there. And again, you've got this option to show on the card. So they're, they're populating there now. You can see that just about. If I just move this over a little bit, can't move it until I finished it. Now I've got this as not started, and everything up there is okay. You've got the priority option. I'll put this to urgent just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, font colors for branding, tick that, then let's just flick that one over there. So you can either have one or the other on, it's up to you how you do that. You can't have them both on. I'll leave that top one on. Now you've got this add label. Now if I click add label, you've got all these different label options. And if you come down here, you can see there's some, these nice ones here. And you've got a little pen symbol there where you can rename this from a color. So I'll just call this marketing. So this has got a marketing label. And then click on that one to add that label at the top there. So everything else is okay there. You can attach files down the bottom here if you want to this task. But that'll do for now. So just click away from that and all that information is in there. And then you've got Coord, add another task. Um, manage team, I'll just put there. Um, start date, do it to Monday. Tuesday, it's a bank holiday. Add. And that's just how a little task would sit. But again, you can click on that task and all the same sort of information comes up there. 
I'll pick on marketing again. I won't bother putting anything else in here. And that's what you do. And then you just create on review work, for example. And then I'll assign that to somebody else. I'll assign that to Tanya. She comes up. All the people on your team come up. And then I don't want anybody else assigned to that. Add task. Um, set a, re uh, a review date. But you can do. And again, I'll add the label marketing. So that's basically how you create a, a simple plan. Now at the top of the screen, you have these options. So grid is just different layout views. So you're just seeing this as a list. You've got the board, which is what it was on. So you see it like a little board. Then you've got these charts. So you've got a little chart there. And you can see all the, the information and basic time, timeline information there for individuals and you get a list of your tasks down this right hand side there you've got filters at the top so you can select these options or start next week for example and it'll just show you the things that's going to start next week you can in, you can uh, remove these so i'll just um, clear that filter click on a person and that will filter for that person and again you always clear filters so I'll clear that one off so these filters are all sitting there for you to use now you've also got schedule, so that's going to give you the schedule, like a timeline, calendar, and then you've got other things that you can add. You can click on notebook, for example, or sites, uh, copy the plan, send it to Excel. If I click on notebook, it'll create a notebook, a one notebook for this plan. So it says there at the top, look, marketing plan notebook, nothing in there at the moment. I'll just close that off. And if you click on site for example or sites it takes you to SharePoint and creates a site um, for the marketing plan and then you've got all your information here nothing there at the moment because it's brand new you'd have to start using this and then down the bottom there you can add it into teams as you can with normal SharePoint sites so I'll close that as well and if I drop this down at the very bottom or near the bottom you've got plan settings if I click on that over on the right here you've got different settings you've got your group it's a public group notifications and then you can maybe tick this option to send the group the people that are on this plan an email if anything changes I'll leave that blank like that so down the right here also you've got the tasks the bucket headings you can see how it all sits there under schedule so lots of information if I go back to charts and then board just to remind ourselves I'll leave it on board now, what I want to do with this plan, so this is the marketing plan, I want this to appear in Teams. So I'll just come out of Planner itself and get myself into Teams, and then I'll close this one down and, and this groups as well. So it also creates a group in Outlook, so you can manage people, so you contact the members of the group through groups in Outlook. So down the bottom here, you've got groups, and there's a marketing plan and you've got the option there to just generate uh, content for the marketing team there you go there's an email coming in there welcome to the marketing plan group so that's just been generated automatically so that's what also happens when you create a plan close that down so back to this so now i want to get into teams in fact i think i've got it open down here yeah i have so what i've got in teams is if i open that and make that full screen I've already added the Teams app, so there's Teams. I've already added the Planner app. If I go and all apps down the bottom there, if I click on that, you can search for Planner in there and it will come up. I've already got it, so Planner, it's called Planner and To Do, so it's not just called Planner itself. So I've already got my planner there we go it's already there task by planner and to do so if i just click on that so any tasks that's been allocated to me will come up under this option assigned and there's a design cover from that plan marketing plan that's the one that was just assigned to me due date at the end and you can click into it and it gives you the details of it so it says me and alana and then all the details that I added to Planner have now come through. 
So if I just close this down and just minimize teams for a second to go back to planner, click on that, open it up again. Now when it opens up again, I'm just going to open the marketing plan. And there I am assigned to that, nobody's assigned to this, so I just want to assign myself to that and this as well. So what should happen now is these other tasks um, will come through onto my team's plan, planner and to-do. So you've got um, options to change who's allocated for it to come through onto your actual plan so you can see that you've got jobs to do. Go back into it. Now, assigned to me, or this planned, assigned to me, and then they come through. Just takes a few seconds for it to come through. So you can see all the marketing plan has now come through there for me, which is great, and I can access them from here. This is also to do, so to do is part of Outlook. So what any task you put in to do will also appear here, and you can you can manage them from within Teams. So I'll just get back into Outlook. So here I am back in Outlook. You can see I've had an email saying I've joined the marketing plan. Over on the right here, you've got to do. And I'm just going to add a task there. And hopefully that will come through into my Teams Planner and To-Do app. So I'll just call it Test Plan. And then click on Add. And then I'll flag that up so it's important to me. And then... What that should do, that should now populate into Planner. So if I go back into, um, not Planner, Teams, and then Important, and then My Day, back to Important, just give it time to load up. And there we go, Test Plan pops in eventually. That took about 30 seconds that did to come through, but there you can see it's, it's part of To Do. And it's come through into the planner and to do app which is in sitting inside teams now i want to close this down for a second this planner and i want to create a channel a teams channel so if i go up to teams now i've got a couple of teams here but nothing nothing going on really but if i just use this project if i to go for manual review have i got anything up there no i'll put a plus there Searching for planner, spell it right, planner, there we go, task by planner and to do, couldn't see it for looking, wait for it to load up, so when it loads up, it's, it's got um, tab name, that's going to be the tab name at the top here, so I'm going to call that Steve Stuff, Steve Stuff. Now it says there you've got an option to use an existing plan. So if I go for the existing plans, you can see when I drop that down, if I click this option, there isn't anything there. If I just delete this for a minute. There's nothing there for me to select, even though we've just been using planner. The planner that you've got in this area is a different beast to the planner that you're putting in this app. So as soon as I create this first plan, I'll just put that back in there. As soon as I create this first plan, this plan will be available to any other channel, but not uh, any of the ones I did in actual the plan, the standalone planner app. Now, if I save that, that will create this plan, and then that will be able, that will be for me to use within this channel and anybody that's in this channel. I will be, will be able to use this plan and the same thing will happen but it will not be connected to the plans that we've already done so you get the same information across the top add a new bucket so I'll call this sales review and then I'll call that um, account review just making these things up and then you add your tasks as, as per normal so um, I'll call it, what month is it, May, May review, uh, I'll assign myself to it, and I'll add that task, click on it, and you get the same information coming up, 
as you had before. Now the labels that I edited before marketing, which was the plum colour, is not pulling through because this is a totally different thing now. This is like a brand new planner app. So I'll call that sales and then I can add the label sales. Find it down there. Sales. And then close that down. That's got a label on. Now if I go to this other channel, I'll we'll click on project 2023 and I add the same app. So I want um, planner, task by planner and to do, comes up. Now what I should be able to do now is I should be able to see that other plan that I've done in this channel when this finishes doing its circle of death. So using the existing plan, I've ticked that option and then I can see Steve's stuff. So although you can't pull plans from the planner app itself into these channels you can pull plans from one channel to another channel once you've started creating them so I'm not going to well I'll just click on it I'm not going to do any more with that I'll just save that and that should pull that one through the same plan so it'll have the same bucket names and everything and there you go so you can see it there it's pulled it through so that's planner and to do within a channel this one if we go back to this one is standalone it's linked to your planner app in Microsoft 365 but these channel ones are not linked to anything so you see when this one pops up everything's okay there now I've got lists here so another thing you can have is lists so I'll just minimize teams because what you have to do is to create lists you can't create them in planner you've got to create them in to do so if I go back up to office 365 or Microsoft 365 and go to the to do app you might have to search for it down here to do that will load up and that is where you can create lists so I've got these lists that you can see in planner app uh, because they've been created here and they've got this option where you can create either a group I'll do a group first because I'll call this marketing the group marketing that's the group name and then you create a list so the list I'll create will be um, design and then you can add that and then you can just pull design up into um, marketing you just drag it up there just drag that list into there and it should just sit in there underneath marketing and then I'll do um, one for sales just so you can see how that works again just press enter you get the little list symbol and you can put that into marketing as well so you've got sales and designs in marketing so if I come back into planner you can see there I've got three more lists so I'll click on that sales and design they're sitting there those are the ones i've just created in to do so all these things these apps they're all linked together you're creating items in one it sucks through into another and that's how it all works so planner you can use planner by itself but if you bring the app into teams you are using um, tasks by planner and to do so that will coordinate those two together anything you create in planner or to do that will show you there if you add the planner the planner app to a channel you're starting a new plan and that's a new plan which you can then pull through into different channels if you want but they are not linked to these apps that you've got down this side here so hopefully that video has been of use quite a lot of information flicking around a lot of different screens but hopefully it's been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one